Hi, welcome to Yovi's home. We make new videos every Tuesday and sometimes other days if you're lucky and you hit the subscribe button. And if not, then we don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Today we are doing a Q&A in Brabant because we could not have a meet and greet with you guys. So we asked you to ask us questions and here we are in our wonderful camping. Um, so if that sounds good to you and you want to hear us answer some questions, why don't you come on in, <gasps> kick off your shoes and stay a while. <laughs> We're really glad you're here. <laughs> hey, they don't have to kick off their shoes. No, keep them on. We're in a camping. <laughs> it's cool. Uh, before we get to the questions, um, Snow World is doing a really cool giveaway. You can win a five day ski safari and you can have this cool camping van that we have. Check the description box below. Questions. Vra vragen. Oh yeah, Dutch word of the day. Dutch word of the day. So vragen is questions. What is your favorite season in the Netherlands? Uh, guaranteed, it's the period between September and Dece December 31st for me. It's like the autumn beginning of winter. <gasps> I hate that season. Hello, you have the cooler weather. It starts getting dark like at normal times again. You have Halloween and then my kids' birthdays are in there too. And then you have Sinterklaas, then you have Christmas, then you have okay, New but, Year's but looking... and it's just like so nice and sparkly and wintry. I like that but looking at weather like the, the getting cooler and getting dark early that's just like the, the downsides for me <sighs> like, I like when I get cozy. to school and it's dark and then I get out of school and it's dark again like I don't see <laughs> daylight anymore and just it's cold for no reason I like when it's cold because there's snow you know cold for a reason but okay but what so what is your I like the cozy vibes like I like yeah. the, the house being dark with like some twinkly like not just Christmas lights yeah, but yeah. like the atmosphere like maybe like a my fire. favorite one is summer it's still summer just the summer it summer. can be hot but I just yeah but it can be hot and then it can be freezing and then it can be hot and then it can be it's just like too psychotic for me like with the winter <laughs> like it's, it's just, just cold. cold all the time and I can plan like I, I like yeah, that yeah okay I, I, you have a point there will you learn how to ride a bike and go get your groceries by bike well, I know how to ride a bike, right? It's not that I don't know how to ride a bike. What I am nervous about is sharing the road with traffic, like with cars. So it's not about knowing how to ride a bike or not knowing. It's I'm not confident on the road with cars. But like when we went to Hohevelu, like, I mean, I biked 20 kilometers, yep. so it was no problem. It's fun. But I doubt that I will ever do like groceries on a bike. Yeah. How about you, Dan? Yeah, I do this grocery sometimes on my bike. Yeah? Yeah. I travel with my bike. Uh, not to school because school's a bit far away for bike. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I like bikes. Do you <laughs> plan to learn how to drive a car? Yes, I am at the moment learning how to drive a car. And it's the scariest shit ever. <laughs> <laughs> so how you feel about driving a car is how I feel about being on a bike. You know? Yeah, I think yeah. we're, yeah. But, yeah. Uh, but bicycles, they're so unpredictable and they just... They just don't like put out their arm when they turn. So I just stop for every single bicycle. And then they see that as an opportunity just to go like when they're not supposed to. I'm totally. No. Totally. Not for me. But I, I will learn it and I will get more comfortable with it. I hope so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How do you like or don't like the different way the Dutch do Christmas as opposed to the USA? What I miss is all the really beautifully decorated houses from the, the outside. biggest difference. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it, it's so extreme, but in a good way. In America. It just feels so festive. And then, like, also, because it's so dark outside so early, like, e I mean, of course, even in the U.S., like, the yeah. weather is darker and stuff in the winter. It just looks so just, like, cozy and, like, nice and happy. And, yeah, so I miss, I miss that. Although I've seen it happening a little bit more in yeah, recent yeah, yeah. years in the Netherlands. What's the question? Terry, you've asked a very weird question. It's on the screen. Uh, what's a dung beetle? A du it's, a, it's a type of beetle that eats poo. So basically, a dung beetle eats poo and then poos out the poo that it just ate. Terry, I feel like this is like we're in a... Are you okay? Are you... <laughs> Signing something to us? Do you need help? <laughs> like, I, yeah, no, I feel like it's an inception kind of question. Yeah, cough three times if you need help. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> What education does Dan do now? I go to the Hogeschool van Utrecht and there I follow an English study uh, called Creative Business. Mm, mm. We be creative. <laughs> <laughs> and we be running a business. <laughs> Uh, what's your favorite shop in The Hague? Wait, can we go back to your question? Yes. Uh, because you guys don't know, but I'm also following a study. Oh, you are. Okay. Right? <laughs> yeah. So, I am also... Maybe you've noticed <laughs> that we've been joking uh, in the intros about that we don't post like Tuesdays and Thursdays anymore. That's because I'm also doing a study. Uh, it's a just like an intensive online course. But it has to do with social media and... You know, just like learning some new skills and then being able to also offer those skills as a side business to other businesses. So yeah. Dan and I might be looking at that in the near future, just starting to do some extra social media stuff. So that's why we're both busy now with school. But you guys, can I announce it? So for now, it's not fully clear on whether or not the classes will go ahead because of coronavirus. But I'm ready and I'm taking in Berkering's Curses in November. So I'm it's gonna become Dutch. I'm, I'm going to become Dutch. Yes. I plan on doing it. So it's a five week study of school every day. And I should be learning like how to speak Dutch from an A0 level and to a B2 level within the five weeks. And then I should be able to take all my Inverhringse exams. And I plan to do that in December. And we're going to do a whole series. Next year you're Dutch. Yeah. Ooh. We're going to do a series about it. So that's a new series coming to the channel. Yovi goes Dutch. Cool. Yovi becomes I Dutch. What should we call it? Let let us yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. What what is a fun way to call that series? And do you guys want to see it? Are you guys into carnival and why? Slash why not? Nah, it's not really my thing. I don't uh, I don't enjoy carnival. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say that we haven't stopped talking about carnival no, since we went it was so cool it, it was, was like every time it was like oh i still see you made a video about carnival yes we did carnival <laughs> no honestly if you guys haven't seen the carnival video pl please please watch it it is it is to this day one of my favorite videos that we've ever made yes yes that vibe of carnival like i feel like that video really captures it um it was one of the coolest experiences and i've been around for king's day and everything there You cannot compare King's Day Absolutely and Carnival. Not. There is. Sorry, King's Day, but Carnival is like one million times better. <laughs> and I was so sad to hear that it was canceled for 2021 because of coronavirus. It's not, it's not canceled, but it's the, the way we're used to celebrating it is canceled. They're gonna look into how they can do it. But it's not gonna be like the parties and crowded. It was so crowded. Like, I can't imagine that we did that in February and now, like, Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. It's so different. It's so weird. Uh, do you ever worry about your kids becoming too Dutch? No. Uh, What does too Dutch mean? How can you become too Dutch? I don't know. But I I feel like the values that I see as being really Dutch, like... The happiest uh, kids in the world. Well, happy, um, uh, really like playing outdoors a lot, uh, yeah. a lot of independence from a young age. Um, being straightforward and truthful, um, like being able to talk to their parents about stuff. Like, you know, I've heard now, maybe Dan, you can fill this in. Like, do you get sex ed education at school? Like, yes. yeah, But being good with money, being responsible, uh, fo emphasis on saving. Like, I, I'm not really sure that I see a downside um, to mm -hmm. the kids being too Dutch. Yep. And also, I don't think they will ever be too dutch because they have a spanish father <laughs> an american serbian canadian mother uh a french grandma <laughs> like yeah, you know it's nice it's to like, have like a <laughs> yeah and so they i really see them as like international citizens and that you can choose all the best qualities and yeah. that's how you're raised so how did you and dan meet uh we're long time lovers no. <laughs> <laughs> No, just kidding. Somebody did comment that yeah. they actually asked. Uh, but actually, Dan <laughs> is my there kid. Was a comment, like, <laughs> Isn't he a bit young for you? <laughs> no, uh, she's my mom. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's see. Mm. <laughs> okay, no, but real, the real answer is uh, before I moved to the house where you guys know me from, uh, Yovi's yeah. home. Uh, We I used to live together. No, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> 
Uh, I was next door neighbors with Grant, with the Grants, with Dan's grandma. Yeah. So I met his whole family through his grandma. Yeah. And I used to walk your dog. Yeah. yeah. That's the first genuine thing I, <laughs> I've said to this question. This is true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is it true that the Frisian people are the tallest people in the world? Frisian, I don't know specifically Frisian, but... In I, Groningen, we noticed a lot of... Wow, yeah, in Groningen, people were really tall. But I think overall it's du- Dutch people. I think Dutch people in general. Or Danish. Yeah. Dutch or Danish. But Dutch we will put tall. on the screen. But the Dutch are tall. I don't know if they're the tallest, yeah. but they're tall. They're in d- for yeah. sure top three, but we will we will put on the screen. I love you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Do you all plan on continuing the channel for a long time to come? That's a good question. That's really good question. I remember like during the corona time and just everything being a bit bleh, we were also like bleh, and everything just felt bleh. Yeah, it did. <laughs> and we were really at a point like, sh- sh- shall we continue continue doing that? But I think now we're at a level again where we're just so motivated to keep this going. Yeah. Now the way that the, the channel is going to look, I-, I think that's going to keep changing. Um, yeah, it, it, that, that is like a continuously changing thing. Although, like, we've noticed, you know, you guys respond differently to different videos. Mm -hmm. And I think that's really, like, when a video does well, it motivates us. When a video that we've worked really, really hard on and Dan has edited, like, 20 times uh, does really badly, Mm. that that (laughs) is, like, it it really hurts, right? Most recently, that was the video where we tasted Drop. And we had high hopes for that video. Really yeah. high hopes. And it actually like tanked. Like it did really, really bad. So yeah, I don't know what to tell you guys. The, the, the way that we do the videos and the way that we do the channel, I think that will continue to evolve as you guys, you know, with your feedback, let us know what you're more interested in, less interested in. Um, and as we try new things too, yeah. as we learn new things and we try new things, that will be... Yeah. Yeah. But we're not planning on quitting anytime soon, right? No. 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 What is the weirdest thing you have ever done? I think people would find it pretty weird that I went from, like, I met my husband in January and we were married uh, in July. So we went from meeting to married within six months. Like, I think a lot of people would find yeah, that yeah. to be weird. And now we've been married. We will do our... You know what? That's kind of cool. I, we're going to celebrate our 12 and a half year anniversary uh, in January. So... I know that's a thing in the Netherlands to do the 12 and a half yep. years. So halfway to the 25. 25 yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, maybe starting a YouTube channel is like a weird thing that we've done. Yeah. Like you are educated to be a international criminal lawyer and now you're a YouTuber. Yeah. But I think also just in general, like this YouTube channel, just, it feels like sometimes like I know you like from my grandma, I used to walk your dog and now we're celebrating carnival together and tonight we're sleeping in a caravan from Snow World together. Like how, if I would like meet my younger self, like, hey, where would I be in five years? Like yeah. five years from now in a Snow World camper with Giovanna, you know, the neighbor from your <laughs> grandma. Like, what? what? <laughs> <laughs> no, totally. Yeah. And yet I feel like it, maybe people would say it's weird, but like because of our age difference, but like, yeah. I just feel like you're such a good friend. It and feels like, so I, natural. Yeah. 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 So I love that. If you and your family couldn't live in the Netherlands anymore, what country would you like to live in? I would not be able to answer that question. I like it here. Yeah. Maybe one of like the like the the North European countries, like this. Yeah. This, this, uh, how do you Scandinavian. Call it? Yeah, the Scandinavian countries, maybe. But I think I'm happy here. Like I don't love the climate, but besides that, it's just good here i would want to go to another country to experience that but i would never like permanently move somewhere else you know mm-hmm. we i just feel safe here just feels good here yeah i'm happy to be here i would be devastated if we couldn't live in the netherlands anymore yeah. there's i mean like i would never move back to the united states that is that is for sure um so i if if I had to leave the Netherlands, I would probably go to France or Serbia because that's where my family is. Yeah, one of those countries, like France, maybe or like yeah, yeah. Yeah, but there's no other country that I'm like, ooh, I wish I lived. Yeah. There. How tall are Dan and Yovi? I'm one meter fifty-eight. Last time I measured, I was one meter, and I keep mixing the numbers right. Seventy-six. One seven six. Yes, yeah. that's the one. One hundred. But I'm still growing. <laughs> <laughs> so I think around that height. 
So those are the questions. You guys, thank, thank you. you. There are a lot of questions. That was awesome. That I was really fun. I think we tried this before, like earlier on in our YouTube channel, and then there weren't that much questions, right? We did it for a live stream during Corona. I oh think. yeah, there weren't any questions <gasps> for that. I, re I still remember there was one question on that video that I said, oh yeah, I'll answer it. And then I forgot, it was to see me without my glasses. So I remember feeling so bad. So here you go. If you are watching and you asked back in like April, uh, <laughs> I will take off my glasses and you can see. I hate myself without glasses, but here you go. It looks so different because your uh, glass like zoom in your eyes a bit, I think, or just, just or zoom out, I don't know, but just changes. It changes everything. I would. You know, I would never get LASIK or is that laser eye surgery or anything. Glasses are, it's part of me. Yeah. But there you go. So that's it. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. We hope that you liked it, that we answered some of your questions. Thanks for coming to this meet and greet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this virtual corona-proof meet and greet. Um, thank you guys so much. And I don't know if we're going to post this first and then the Brabant Homeland or if Brabant Homeland is already first and then this one's next but here you go thank you guys so much and we will see you in the next one bye, bye.